The Indians do well at the first Special Education Job Olympics. We'll have details ahead. Also on the broadcast, we'll have upcoming spring sports announcements. All this and more coming up on KFOI Daily News. Enjoy a dance club experience at Lunar Bowl with disco lighting, current and classic music videos playing on our 10-foot big screens and your BFFs. Explore one of our weekend cosmic bowling sessions and get your bowling groove on. Good morning, Fort Osage High School. I'm Frankie Wanamaker. And I'm Amate Boutte. Today is Monday, March 16th, 2015, and here are today's news and announcements. March 11th featured the first Area Special Education Job Olympics. The Indians took second place sweepstakes, finishing only one point away from first place. The team had the most first place finishes with six. Shelby Liebrich had two first place finishes, one in folding laundry and the other in child care. Timothy Coleman earned first place honors in light assembly too. Dalton Hall took first in movie theater, Alex Jorgensen finished first in sorting papers, and Robert Bly placed first in first aid kit. Second place finishers included Austin Long in Light Assembly, one in Movie Theater, Sean Smith in Pet Care, Amanda Bowen in Child Care, and Bailey Hall in Rolling Silverware. Third place finishers were Timothy Coleman in Movie Theater, Dylan Walker in Custodial, and Sean Smith in Rolling Silverware. The Wood Chapel United Methodist Church hosts its annual prom boutique this week. Students can visit the church at 4725 Northeast Lakewood Way in Lee Summit and pick out a free prom dress. They can choose from over 3,000 dresses in all sizes from 3 to 7 p.m. Tuesday through Friday this week and 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturday. The cheerleading team had tryouts last Friday and the following students made the 2015-2016 cheer competition squad. Christina Freeman, Sophie Ruoff, Caitlin Glass, Kendall Smith, Allie Herman, Caitlin Snyder, Alexis Huff, Kaylee Steenrod, Peyton Kelly, Brittany Stevens, Faith Lockard, Kylie Stevens, Freddie Lurex, Shelby Stobart, Maddie Monday, Madison Rawson, and Hannah Rice. We'll have more cheer squad results tomorrow. KFOI reported last week that a group of foreign language students went to compete in the University of Missouri-Kansas City Foreign Language Fair on March 11th. We gave the results for the French students, but a group of Spanish students also participated in poetry, dance, art, and a version of the game Jeopardy. Abby Morrow took second in poetry, and Ethan Morrow, Natalie Scott, Alexis Kierna, and Morgan Pelster finished third in, po in Jeopardy. When we come back, we'll have today's weather report. There's always fun in store at Big Frog Custom T-Shirts and more in Independence. Visit the store, choose, create, and celebrate your customized design on a wide selection of apparel and gifts. Your order can be printed and ready within 24 hours. Let Big Frog outfit you today. Welcome back. So currently it's about 54 degrees, so obviously it's a lot warmer than it has been for a long time. And our high today is 84 degrees, which is awesome. Now our low tonight is going to go back down to about 48 degrees, and then tomorrow we should expect it to pick back up to a high of 60 degrees. Now the radar is clear, so we're going to go to our five-day forecast. We see some showers that may come on Wednesday, so that's why it cools down a bit, but then it'll become a lot warmer as we move into Sunday, but we're still expecting a passing shower. Now, here's Caleb with our sports after this message. In a world where comfortable roomy seats and delicious snacks await your arrival, the Blue Springs 8 Theater at 1901 Northwest 7 Highway in Blue Springs offers a friendly atmosphere to view the top box office movies. Catch these recent releases this week at the Blue Springs 8. Hey everybody, Caleb Winslow, KFY Sports. KFY wishes to congratulate the Special Olympic State Bound athletes, Bailey Hall, Dalton Hall, Colin Eccles, Shelby Liebrick, and Amanda Bowen, all qualified in bowling. Special Olympic State Bound basketball athlete is Sean Smith.
They will compete on March 27th and 28th. Wish them luck. Skylar Thompson competed in the Rivals Camp Series over the weekend in Dallas, Texas. The event is presented by Under Armour. This is a premier high school football camp that challenges high school football players. The quarterback challenge focuses on coaching as quarterbacks will be able to improve their technique and demonstrate their skill levels in accuracy, velocity, ability to throw on the run, and downfield vision. The challenge included an accuracy competition and quarterbacks threw into targets all over the field under the direction of top coaches. Skyler finished second overall in the Dallas Regional Competition. All spring sports teams have, begin, have started practicing hard and they are ready to start their seasons. The first competitions will be March 20th for boys and girls track and the girls soccer teams. Varsity baseball starts the season March 21st and boys tennis begins match play on, the tw on March 24th. KFY will provide complete results and also bring you live coverage of select varsity events. So come out and support your Indians this spring. Thanks Caleb. On this day in history, in 1850, Nathaniel Hawthorne's novel, The Scarlet Letter, was published. To this day, The Scarlet Letter is taught in English classes and enjoyed by thousands of people. And finally on the show, our ACT word of the day is abate, meaning to reduce. Well, that's all we have for you today on KFOI Daily News. Keep up to date by following us on Twitter at KFOI underscore news. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Remember, tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, so wear your green.